How's it going everybody? This is Rob of Novacast back with a, another video. In this one, we'll be talking about episode 2 of High Score Girl. Now, as, as I mentioned in the previous video, um, this is supposedly a um, show that ha that's a funny romantic misadventures of a couple of kids that are passionate about arcade games that were present in 1991 Japan and um, it's again I was intrigued by the first episode now something I should mention I forgot or that I failed to mention was talking about the opening which I kind of did that with a couple of other shows when it come when it came down to talking about you know particular series this the I'm gonna say I like the intro or the opening theme for this particular show as well as uh the animated intro um it's it, it, it's interesting and it has uh several i guess it, it makes references to a lot of you know again classic arcade games which is really cool to watch um now talking about this particular episode um this particular episode focuses on or at least for the first part focuses on uh or at least referencing or giving homage to the turbo graphics 16 and apparently for haruo which i said his name correctly now i turns out i i called him haru but it's haruo um it starts off with him talking about the turbo graphics 16 and how great it is compared to uh, the Super Nintendo, which apparently that was coming out around the same time, which is interesting to say the least. And to set everything up, I guess Akira Ono uh, listens into his conversation about how he likes the Turbo Graphics 16. And eventually, what ends up happening is uh, he ends up getting sick. And this is due to uh, him, uh, a situation that happens near the beginning of the episode. And she shows up to give him his, I'm using quotes, to give him his homework. But turns out that she had an ulterior motive, and that was to check out the Turbo Graphics 16. And sure enough, she apparently. Although a master in the arcade, Haru finds out that she is an amateur when it comes to consoles. And we kind of get more backstory of her that, you know, with, again, with her being so cultured and her kind of lifestyle being so controlled with, you know, again, with her being in a rich environment or rich setting, uh, she doesn't have anything involving, you know, arcades or if anything gaming for that matter so she's kind of living vicariously through Haruo when it comes to his stuff and it's really interesting to say the least um, and to a degree after that's that whole scenario they we have a moment where they end up trying to hunt down a mythical arcade that is Apparently only 10 yen, which if I remember correctly, I could be wrong by, by the, the, the conversion, money conversion between U.S. and, um, and J Japanese, but 10 yen, I think is almost the equivalent of $10 to that degree. So, or no, not $10. Uh, 10 cents so or again close to it but anyway so they go to hunt down the this particular arcade and sure enough after you know remembering some of the clues that a, a individual gave them they find it only to find out that after you know checking it out and leaving turns out the arcade was abandoned and we get this ghost story about how it 
was uh, it was open before, but the owner kind of skipped out after you know a certain situation. So to an extent, they may have come across a ghost, which to an, an extent angers Akira, which I thought was funny, especially when uh, since she's been freaked out by the whole splatterhouse thing and ghosts and everything, it, it, it's funny. Um, we have a kind of cute moment where um, Haru is, I guess, purchases a couple of, uh, I can't remember the name of the food, but it looked, it looked interesting. Um, food from convenient, uh, a convenience store, and to an extent, Akira is intrigued by the food. And we have a moment where kind of Haru, you know, mentions, you know, if she wants to hang out, they can. Which, again, is a cute moment. And another thing I should mention is the fact that, to a certain degree, another side thing that's happening is this tutor is kind of irritated with uh, Akira's demeanor. And by the end of it, she I guess she notices a change in her behavior. And I guess the question is, why is this happening? Whereas Haru, unfortunately, gets scolded by his mother, who, I'm not going to lie, like, when they introduce the mom, she's kind of weird. But anyways, he gets scolded because he gets a bad report card. <laughs> but all in all, this was intriguing. And again, I like references to, so far, especially when uh, we're getting so many references and nostalgia from classic uh, gaming. I'm not gonna lie, it kind of reminds me of uh, situations or at least videos from the Angry Video Game Nerd or video or other creators like that where we get a lot of references and a lot of history from vi video games, which again is a lot of cool. So with that, I enjoyed this episode. It was a lot of fun and I think I'm gonna con I'm definitely gonna continue reviewing the episodes. So far it's been again, it's been a lot of fun. So with that, I'm going to go ahead and end the video here. Thank you guys so much for watching. Truly really appreciate it. If you guys can, please leave a like, comment, share, subscribe, all the good stuff. If you guys want to follow us on social media, links are in the description down below. As well as check out our daily content and the weekly podcast. With that being said, this is Rob Novacast signing off. Have a good one. Take care. And I will see you guys in the next video.